I will present you the second exercise of this week called Tap and Play. The goal of this exercise is to let you play with the music library and play music. So you will have to load the full list of songs from the device. You will have to activate, deactivate, play with a double tap. You will have a swipe right to pass to next track and a swipe left to pass to the previous track. Uh, you will display the history of visited track and in fact you will differentiate the behavior of your application in small and large devices. In large devices you will have a UI split view with on your left the history, on your right the main view that controls uh, the play of uh, your playlist and on a small device you will have a UI tab bar. I promised you last week that you will have a UI tab bar sooner or later uh, and so you will have to swap between the view that allows you to navigate and play music and the view that allows you to see the uh, history of songs you went to for playing or just for uh, going through. Let's first have a look on this application on a small device. So here you notice that if I double tap I start playing my music and if I go forward by just swiping right, okay, then I go from one song to another one, okay. And you see, okay, it's not very visible that you have a UI progress view that progresses, but uh, since there are many tracks, okay, you don't see progress very fast, okay. So if I swipe left, then you go back to the previous uh, track. First you go to the beginning of the track and then you go to the previous track, okay? If you go to the uh, other view, thanks to the tab bar controller, you see that you have all the history that is available. And when I went back, okay, uh, you can see it because uh, it's displayed as a trust on my application. It's really not of interest because you cannot select this to go back to uh, your uh, track, uh, but uh, I could implement it. It's also an announcement you can do. Let's now have a look on the way this application behaves on a large device. And you see that you have all together the history and the uh, music control. So if I double tap here, I start for uh, playing some music and in fact you see that uh, there are less tracks on that device so uh, you will notice the progression of the uh, progress view uh, that is now visible okay of course once again if I go back okay it works okay and you see that as soon as I do some change, okay, uh, then uh, you have the change reported in the history automatically. And uh, with uh, Nina Hagen, African Reggae, which was a success in the 80s, uh, we end this demo. So it's quite easy. Be aware of uh, the very few traps you have in this exercise. Uh, once again, in a UI split view, you have to deal with interaction between the two views on large devices only. It's easier on uh, small devices, but you will have to have an adaptive support of the two type of device. So you will have to do things differently on the app delegate according to the fact you are running on a small device and on a large device. Uh, you already have the know-how, so there is nothing else to say. You may enrich the exercise. For example, you may add a MP Media Picker controller, which is not present in this exercise. You may also use resources on the Video Companion webpage. Thank you for your attention. See you later. <laughs>